In this video, you'll learn how to use the Data Source Wizard, Query Designer, and Parameters panel to create a master detail report in a worksheet without a single line of code. To get started, create a new spreadsheet application with the help of the DevExpress Template Gallery. Let's start a new project in Visual Studio. Select DevExpress Template Gallery and launch the Project Wizard. Select Required Options for a WinForms Ribbon Form Spreadsheet application and click Next. The application will be created automatically. When a new application is ready, click the Spreadsheet Control Smart tag in Visual Studio and select Create Mail Merge Bars to add a Mail Merge tab. Select Create Field List Panel and select Create Parameters Panel. Now let's run the application. A simple worksheet template containing captions and required formatting is prepared beforehand. Open the template in the spreadsheet control and switch to the Mail Merge Design view. Next, let's find a worksheet to data. First, click Add Data Source to invoke the Data Source Wizard. Select Database as the data source type and click Next. Select an option to create a new data connection. Click Next. Now, select the MS Access 97 data provider and locate the database file in win.mdb in the data subfolder of the DevExpress demos. Click Next. Select an option that does not save credentials. Click Next. Now, click the Run Query Builder to invoke the Query Designer window that enables you to select data from the data source. Add the supplier's table and include all columns into the query. You can click OK to close the Query Designer. Click OK to select the newly created data source. Now click Manage Relations, Manage Queries to invoke the Query Designer and add the Products table. And add the Order Details table in the same manner. Next, let's specify the table relationships. First, click Manage Relations to invoke the Master Detail Relations Editor. Now, add relations to the suppliers and products tables. The editor suggests appropriate relations automatically. Next, mark up the worksheet areas. Let's select the detail area and click Detail to mark it up. I'll click Select Data Member to invoke a dialog to select suppliers as the data member in the worksheet data source. Now select the header area and click Header to mark it up. I'll select the sub detail area, Detail Level 0, and click Master Detail, Detail Level to mark it up. Let's select Master Detail Data Member to specify Suppliers Products Nested Data Member for the Detail Level 0. Now let's select the Next Level Sub Detail Area, Detail Level 1. Click Master Detail, Detail Level to mark it up. Finally, select the Master Detail Data Member to specify Products Order Details Nested Data Member for the Detail Level 1. Insert data fields into the cells. To do this, select the cell, double click the field in the Field List panel. Make sure that the fields are selected from the nested data member that has been previously specified for the area to which a field is inserted.
multiple sheets to place a report for each supplier into an individual worksheet. I'll click Mail Merge Preview to see the result. Resulting workbook has multiple worksheets, one worksheet for each supplier. You can modify the supplier's query so that it uses a parameter specified in the parameters panel. A report will be produced only for those suppliers who meet certain criteria. Let's click Manage Relations, Manage Queries to invoke a dialog and click the ellipsis button for the supplier's query to edit it. Run Query Builder to filter to invoke the filter editor window. Specify a criteria for the company name field that uses the begins with condition with a parameter value. Type in the parameter name that will be used in a query and click OK. Query Editor window. Click Next to proceed to the dialog that enables you to configure query parameters. Select the New Spreadsheet Parameter option to display the parameter in the Parameters panel. Specify the display name, company name, and the initial parameter value. Next, click Mail Merge Preview to see a single worksheet because there is a single supplier with a name that meets the criteria, a name that starts with A. Finally, let's modify the company name parameter and preview the result. All right, we've managed to create a data-bound worksheet template, which can be used to produce a master detail report for orders which contain products supplied by companies included in the database. And that task is accomplished without a single line of code. Over, you can save the mail merge template with all the data bindings, relations, and parameters into an XLSX file and load it on demand. Save the workbook into a file, create a new empty workbook to clear all data, and load the recently saved workbook. You'll see that all data bindings are restored and our mail merge works as expected. That's it. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.